Welcome back. So I had a few games that weren't going so well. Um, I just was not playing very well. I was in a little bit of a funk, and I decided I need to mix things up. I'm going to go for this Bomb Cloud opening that I've been hearing so much about, and I've been wanting to try, so let's get into it and see how it went. I start the game with e4, and my opponent plays e5, and here it comes, king to e2, the Bomb Cloud is in effect. So uh, let's see how this one plays out. My opponent responds with d5, uh, attacking my undefended pawn here, and I develop my knight to c3 to get a defender on that pawn. My opponent plays bishop to g4, immediately attacking my king, uh, and also trying to pin my king to my queen. But I do have some defensive options here. I play knight to f3, both defending that uh, attack on my king, and also developing my knight in the process. Uh, next, in comes queen to d6. I think my opponent wants to get the queen into the game early so he can try to punish me for bringing my king into this vulnerable position. Um, so I do move my king back to e1 here, getting him off of this light square diagonal and out of the threat of this uh, bishop. And now my opponent decides to trade pawns, uh, taking my pawn here on e4, and I take back with my knight. Uh, and now, because I took back, I'm also threatening the queen. My opponent sees that and moves his queen to a safer square on d5 and also attacking my knight that's not being defended. So I play pawn to d3 to defend this knight, and my opponent goes queen to a5, checking my king. I defend that with bishop to d2, so this uh, defends my king, develops my bishop, and also puts an attack on my opponent's queen, so now he's got to move the queen, uh, winning me a tempo. So queen goes back to b6, looking to attack this vulnerable pawn here, um, but I play pawn to b3, so now this pawn is being defended. Next, my opponent plays uh, knight to c6, looking to get his knight into the game. And I respond c3, um, blocking off my uh, opponent's knight from jumping to either of the uh, b4 or d4 squares. So now my opponent is able to castle queenside, which he does, uh, getting his rook onto this central, fi center file here with my queen on it. Um, and I decide I'm ready to try to kick this bishop away. So I play pawn to h3. And bishop goes to uh, h5, getting back to a safer square. Now, obviously I could play uh, g4 and continue to kick that bishop, but that's not what I want to do. Instead, I decide I want to bring my light square bishop into the game. So I go bishop to f2, and this takes a lot of the pressure off of my queen, um, who was previously defending the knight here, as well as the pawn. Uh, but now I get the bishop in there, uh, again, making my queen a little bit safer, and also developing my bishop. So my opponent responds... Uh, with knight to f6, getting his knight into the game. And here I see an opportunity um, to potentially trade knights. Material is even, so I'm not quite ready to trade yet. Um, instead, I decide I want to try to keep up the pressure on my opponent's queen. So I go bishop to e3, attacking the queen. And the queen moves to a6, getting out of harm's way. Um, next, here's here comes the trade. I do decide to trade at this point. Um, again, even though material is even... Um, I have the opportunity to mess up my opponent's pawn structure and give double pawns here. So, uh, even material, but maybe I come out slightly ahead in that due to messing up the pawn structure. Uh, and now, I play d4. So this is a key move. I just want to go back for a second. So, what I notice here is the d4 square. I have um, a lot of pieces uh, attacking this square. So, my c3 pawn, uh, my dark square bishop, my knight... And once I move my pawn, my queen is also defending. Uh, my opponent has three attackers, but if I count them right, I have four defenders. So I think I can um, win this trade here, but also I see a bit of a sneaky play. So I play d4. There's so much concentration here in the middle. Um, what I'm hoping is that my opponent does not know or does not notice that playing d4 now reveals an attack from my light square bishop on his queen. And thankfully... Here comes the big blunder. My opponent does not see that. Uh, takes the pawn looking to trade, and I jump right on that free queen. So it was an even game, but now I'm up 8 material. My opponent is able to take back, so I'm only up 5, but uh, he now has another set of double pawns. So I'm feeling good at this point. I think the bomb cloud is working out. Um, and now at this point, um, I still feel like I can win the center trade. So I take, uh, opponent takes back, I take back with my bishop. Uh, he could, well, really can't, but I thought maybe he would try to take back with his rook, and then I would take the rook. Um, but instead, he brings uh, this dark square bishop. 
um, right here looking to basically bait me into taking that and then he can take my queen. So obviously I don't want to do that. Instead I play g4 finally kicking this bishop away. Bishop goes back to g6 getting the safety uh, and I play rook to c1 now that the queen is no longer looking at my a2 pawn. I can get this rook into the game and put an attacker on this bishop here which is not being defended. So uh, my opponent does not want to let that happen. He decides to take my bishop. I take back with the knight. Um, and then he kicks my knight, or attempts to kick my knight away here. But actually, um, he doesn't realize that this pawn is not being defended. So I can simply just take the pawn. And I am up nine material. Uh, we're looking good at this point. The bomb cloud is working out. So um, my opponent gets out of check with king to b2. And I check my opponent with knight to f3. He plays king to b6, and I'm going to admit I missed an opportunity for checkmate here. I didn't realize until after the game that um, queen to c6 would have been checkmate, so I could have ended the game right here. Obviously, I'm very far ahead, uh, but it goes just a few more moves. So instead of doing that, again, I, I blundered there. Um, I go for check with rook to c6. Uh, my opponent brings his king to a5, getting out of that check. And I just take this, there's a free hanging pawn here. So basically I see an opportunity to take this pawn. Um, and then what I'm thinking here is once I take the pawn, my opponent hopefully will take this free knight here and then I'll, I'll be able to get his rook. So I'm hoping he'll kind of go for that blunder as opposed to just moving my, my knight out of harm's way. So I do uh, take the pawn. And my opponent <laughs> blunders that. And actually now I'm skewering either rook. I could take both of them. Um, but what I do instead, I actually see that I can go for a check here, uh, forcing my opponent. He's only got one square he can move to, which is b4. So he goes b4. And now I just decide that I'm going to take this rook. Uh, he's back in check. Goes to a3. And here comes the checkmate. I take this other pawn. And there's nowhere uh, that he can go. So... That's the end of the game. The bond cloud worked out. Maybe I'll have to play it a little bit more often. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next video.